And this is true of many Democrats. Remember Hillary Clinton? What did she say? We can't be civil with Republicans. Remember this? You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. That's why I believe if we are fortunate enough to win back the House and or the Senate, that's when civility can start again. Oh, today now she's singing a different tune after actual criminal acts against Democrats. Oh, it's only if it happens against Democrats. I'm beginning to catch on here. Now she's calling for us all to come together. Take a look. It is a troubling time, isn't it? And it's a time of deep divisions. And we have to do everything we can to bring our country together. Really? You said we couldn't be civil. Oh, that was last week. Oh, I understand how that works. Now, we can't, of course, forget about Congresswoman Maxine Waters repeatedly calling for Republicans to be stalked, harassed, confronted in grocery stores, department stores, gas stations. Tell them they're not wanted anywhere anymore. That was a couple of weeks ago. Take a look. You have members of your cabinet uh, that are being booed out of restaurants. Who yeah. have protesters taking up at their house. Who yeah. saying no peace, no sleep. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, yeah. in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. Yeah. And you push back on them. Yeah. And you tell them. They are not welcome anywhere anymore. Oh, that was then. That was a couple of weeks ago. Now Congresswoman Waters has issued a statement today that reads, I unequivocally condemn any and all acts of violence and terror. What happened to get a crowd, follow them into department stores, grocery stores, gas stations, tell them they're not wanted anywhere anymore? All these networks all day, selective moral outrage, they have been dead silent in the lead up to today, frankly, complicit in giving her and all of these people on the left a pass and many of them themselves using incendiary rhetoric.